most key point here is that diffusion is the movement of particles from an area of high concentration to an area of low concentration. With that in mind, we are going to look at an agar cube, which is basically a sort of jelly made from seaweed protein. And that we filled with an indicator called phenolphthalein, which turns pink when it's alkaline. We are then going to put it into a beaker full of hydrochloric acid. Now, this cube has a low concentration of acid. There's none whatsoever. We're then going to put it into this beaker full of acid all around. Therefore, that's the high concentration. So the particles move from high to low, so therefore the acid should move from the outside into the jelly because you're going from high to low concentration of acid. When it moves in, it meets with the alkali already present in the cube. It therefore turns the cube more neutral. And then the color should therefore change from pink to clear as the solution inside it turns from alkaline to more neutral. Okay? So let's have a look at it now. What we've got here is some hydrochloric acid. And, of course, eye protection. And here we have our agar cube. I'm just going to drop the agar cube very gently into the acid. Then over time, we should see the diffusion of the acid into the cube. As you can see, we're going to fish out the agar cube now. After it has been inside the acid for quite a, quite a bit of time. A short amount of time. But beautifully demonstrated here, the acid slowly has diffused in from the outside into the cube. If we cut the cube like so, we could see very clearly how far along the acid has diffused into it, as you can see there. So with that in mind, knowing that diffusion occurs in the system, and this is the easiest way to monitor it, we're now going to time how long diffusion takes to reach the center of the block with different surface area to volume ratios. So here I've pre-prepared three different sizes of cubes. As you can see here, we have the 10 millimeter by 10 millimeter by 10 millimeter cube, five millimeter cubes and three millimeter cube here. We're gonna put each into equal volumes of hydrochloric acid. And then we're gonna time how long it takes for the entire block to turn clear. So I make an understanding, basically, of why cells are the size they are. So here we go, let's get this laid out. Stopwatches at the ready for each one, and off we go. And there we have three times for the three different sizes of agar cubes. Now please head over to your worksheets where we will do some calculations and some graphing.